Hello you guys, very very long time no video. I know the last thing I uploaded was probably my prom vlog at this point and that was at the end of June and now we're in the middle of August so I'm really sorry about that but things have been crazy this summer. I've been changing my courses for university again, I've been working full time, I've been traveling, so much has been going on and as much as I thought the summer was gonna be a big summer for videos, I guess I was wrong and it actually is easier to make them during the school year so we are gonna get back on this grind so soon but for now I wanna share with you guys a video I've been meaning to make all summer and you would've had so much sooner had Walmart been just slightly more helpful but this is gonna be a video on how to make friendship bracelets. I know it's a little bit off brand for me, a little bit different from what the rest of the videos on my channel are like, but I remember when I was just a bit younger and I was making bracelets a lot more often, I was always looking for videos like this and they were either really, really complex or way too simple. And I just wanted to give you guys something to bridge the gap because I actually still love making friendship bracelets. I wanna show you guys some of the patterns I use, some of the strategies I use, and basically the three or four easiest friendship bracelets to make that look the best and I'm gonna try to do it like so you can actually see what I'm doing and I'll walk you guys through it, but it's really not that hard at all and I think you guys will really enjoy this video. Now, when you're making friendship bracelets, there really aren't that many things you need. Just ideally something to attach your bracelet to. Me, I really like using a clipboard, but whatever works best for you. You're gonna want string. This is from the dollar store. The ones I like the most are from Walmart, but Walmart has been out of the string I like all summer. So we're gonna have to settle for this stuff and a few colors I just already had. And then I like to use, instead of scissors, just nail clippers because they're a little bit more precise. Just for cutting my string and for fixing any like odds and ends or like strings that stick out in the end. But yeah, there's really not that much you need and Doing them is really, really easy. There are definitely bracelets that are easier than others. Those are the ones you see more commonly, the ones you would like do at camp. And then there's other bracelets that require a pattern. I'm just gonna show you guys really briefly how to do those, but they're really not that difficult once you understand the different knots you use. But long story short, this is kind of one of those things I've just gotten weirdly good at. Like everyone has a few things they're just really good at for no reason. This is one of those things I'm just bizarrely good at. Like I can do really complicated patterns with like palm trees and beaches and sunsets and sunrises and stuff. So honestly, if you're not that good at this, you probably have better things in life you're good at, but this just happens to be one of the things I'm particularly good at. So I'm gonna show you guys some of these bracelets. I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, I would love to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, left a comment down below on what you'd like to see in the future. I love talking to you guys down in the comments. I try to respond to as many as possible. But anyway, let's get right into the video. All right, so this is the most popular kind of bracelet. It's called a candy stripe or I guess a pinstripe style bracelet. This would be like your typical summer camp style one. And basically the more strands you use, the better it's gonna look because the thicker it's going to be. So this bracelet has eight colors but 16 strands because I doubled up on each string. I'm not gonna show you guys how long you need to make the strings for this. That's like very easy to look up. I just use like a complete like wingspan of myself when I do this, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do the knot for this bracelet. There's only one kind of knot for the entire thing and it's very, very simple. This knot is called a forward knot and it's the most typical knot you use in all of bracelet making. So you start with your string over most to your left <clears throat> and you're gonna use this string and tie it twice around every other string going in order. And the shape of the knot you wanna do looks like a four. So it goes like that. You can see it's like a four shape and then it's gonna come back around this string like that and tie up tight to the top. And then it's gonna do that again. So there's your four right there, it goes through the middle and it ties up tight to the top. Now that we've done two knots on that string, that string is completely done for this row and it gets put to the side. <clears throat> then we move on to the next string and we do that four knot, that four right there the four twice on this string next. Then again, that purple string that's done for now, we move on to the next string and we do that forward knot twice on that string. And we do that twice on every string until the whole line is complete. That's the entire way of doing this bracelet. There's nothing else more complicated about it. It's just two knots on every string going in order. Now, once you've tied it just at the end, this string now belongs at this end of the bracelet. So it stays here and we move back along to the front and we start all over again with that first string. And you just follow this pattern over and over again until the bracelet is long enough to fit around your wrist. 
and then you can tie it off and you're all done. Now the next bracelet pattern I'm going to show you is almost a variation on that last one. It uses those forward knots, but it's also going to use backwards knots. So this bracelet I like to think of as two separate sides. This is your forward side on your left hand and this is your backward side on your right hand. So starting off, we just follow the same idea as that last bracelet. We make those forward knots on each string. So this magenta color goes around the light pink two times. And then it moves on to this cream colored string and it goes around it two times. And then to the light blue strand and around it two times. And then around the blue in the middle and around it two times. Now once you reach the middle of this bracelet, this magenta needs to stay here and we need to work on the other side and then we'll come back to it. So on this hand is where we're going to begin with our backwards knots, which are exactly the same as forward knots, they just go in the opposite direction. So this magenta one does a backwards four over the light pink strand and comes up through and ties. And then again, and it again ties at the top. And we're gonna do two of those knots on each strand until we get to the middle. We know the middle is when we've reached the dark blue because the dark blue is the color last completed. Once you have the two matching colors together in the middle, they need to be tied together. This is done by using the first string, this one here, and doing two forward knots since that string came from the forward knot side. These ones should be nice and tight so that you make sure your bracelet really pulls together in the center and stays tight throughout. And once that strand's completed, you go over and you begin again. Now this time we're using the light pink color and we're going to take it over each string, then we're going to do the other side, and again, we're going to combine them in the middle. So again, with this bracelet, you just complete row after row after row after row until your bracelet's long enough that it'll fit around your wrist. This is another bracelet that I actually prefer a little bit thicker. I did this one with 10 strands. I do prefer them with 20, but just for the simplicity of the video, I didn't want to have too many strings going on at once. So that's just something to note for yourself was this would look a lot better were it a larger size bracelet. So this next style of bracelet is ideal if you don't feel comfortable with the knots because there's actually no knots involved in this bracelet at all. And it's what I like to call a fishtail style bracelet. If you're familiar with fishtail braiding, you will be very, very good at this bracelet. So how it works is you take the same color from each side. So if I take red from this side and bring it over, I will also take two strands of red from the other side and bring them over. And the next color I'll be using is orange. So I take two strands of orange and then I follow up with another two strands of orange. Now this bracelet truly is just very simple, but it's one of my favorites, especially if I'm making an anklet because it's nice and thin, um, which is a style that I actually really like for anklets. I don't like to have anything too thick down there. Also, you get really weird tan lines if you've got thick anklets on, so. Yeah, so you just bring the color over from one side and then the same one over from the next side and what's convenient is actually after you've done it a few times the colors are just lined up in order so it becomes very very easy for you to pick the right one so this is the pattern used for this bracelet it is different colors than the colors i'm using but i have each one of them matched up to just be a certain one so like white is still white, but then some of the other colors are mixed up. And then how it works is you go line by line. So we're gonna start up here in this corner with this knot here, then we go to this knot, this knot, this knot, and through and through and through and through. Now, how you read it is you're looking. 
So this is a forward knot because the arrow points forward and we already learned how to do a forward knot. Next one's a backward knot. Backward knot, backward knot, backward knot, forward, 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 forward. So that row is gonna be really easy to complete because that all makes sense. Now, coming down to the next row, forward, forward, backward, backward, forward, forward, backward, backward. Now, all of those knots are ones you guys have learned already, so they're not gonna be hard at all. But then once we get down to this third row, we have this knot. Now this one is a backwards forward knot because the arrow points backward and then it comes forward. So when we get down to there, I'll explain how to do that knot. And then I'm gonna say on the other side, we're gonna have the opposite. So that's gonna be a forward backwards knot because the arrow points forward and then it goes backwards. So as soon as we get down to the third row, I'll show you guys a forwards backwards knot and a backwards forwards knot. So guys, I hurried through to the third row just so that we could work through the entire thing together so it would make sense. So I have now completed the first and second row. So I'm gonna start down at third and we're at this knot right over here. So that's gonna be a forward knot and it shows it being a white over a red strand, which for me is gonna be white and pink because I switched out some of the colors. But we're gonna do a white strand over a pink strand and when we do a forward knot, it's really two forward knots, remember? So it's two of those four shaped knots. So this is this white string and this pink string. There's that first one of those and up to tighten it and the second one and up to tighten it. And that's that one done. Now, unlike the other bracelets, we don't keep using the same string. Once those two, the ones shown right here are done, we move on to the next one. So now we're gonna do two forwards, white over pink, which for me is gonna be orange in this, okay? So two forward knots again here with the white over the orange. And those ones go to the side because they're done now as well too. Now next, we have this knot that we haven't seen before, this black one here. And it's a backwards forwards knot. And it's gonna be black over red. And red for me, remember, is the magenta color. So how this works is we do a backwards knot, then a forwards knot. So the backwards is the backward shaped four one, the one that looks like that and comes up through the middle. And then forwards now. So there's the front way four and through the middle. If we did one backwards knot and one forwards knot, and now those two strings are now complete. <clears throat> now the next thing we have to do is this one here, and it's another backwards forward knot, and it's blue over white. Those are the same colors that I used, so we'll go first backwards four and tie it up tight and then forwards four and tie it up tight and now these two strings are done and we set them away as well now next thing we have in the pattern is this black one here this one right here and it's a forward knot so we're back to using the black ones and we make two forward knots, that's that regular four shape. So there's one and there's the second one. The next knot we need to do is this one right here. Now that's a forwards backwards knot. At this point, you're probably able to anticipate what that's gonna look like. It's the opposite of our backwards forwards knot. So we're gonna do a forwards backwards knot with the blue and white. So I have the blue and the white right here. First we do the forwards part. So the forwards is like a regular four shape and through the middle. And then backwards with that same string is backwards and through the middle. And we tie that up tight and that one's completely done. Now that blue and the white join the pile of ones we've already handled. Now moving on to the next one, this black one here another forwards backwards knot with the black and the magenta. So first we make a forward one like that, the regular four shape, and it comes through the middle, ties up tight, and then a backwards one with the same string, and it ties up tight, and again, we're just done with those two strings, and we cast them off to the side. Now we only have two more pairings here left to do and then we're completely done with this row. 
<clears throat> we can look here and see that it's two of these backwards knots, both with white, first over the orange, and then with the next white string over the magenta. Now we have to make sure we're using different white strings to do each of these. So this is the first white string going over the orange, that pair gets cast aside, and then the second pair, this white over the magenta. So now we're down to row number four. And this row has something in it we haven't seen before too. Now this row has this little arrow here, this string that's bent out and there's no knot around it. And that just means that this string isn't used at all in this row. So it's completely left out and it won't be used at any point in this uh, row at all. For this bracelet, you'd have to obviously complete the entire pattern numerous times. I think what I've done here is almost long enough for a bracelet for me, actually. Um, I used these colors so they were nice and bright and each color was uh, very different. So for someone doing a pattern, it's uh, easier to use colors that are very easy to identify from each other rather than ones that are too similar, like a light green and a light yellow in the same bracelet. But anyway, I hope this video really helped you guys if you're working on making bracelets. I'll see you again in another video very soon. So anyway you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I cannot wait to see you again very soon. I promise in the next video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what you want to see next and I will see you guys so soon.